What is up you guys, this is Violet Tele here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can see, I am back doing the item shop switchover. 15 seconds left on the clock. We had some really, really cool items returned last night. We had some summer favourites, as you guys can see here. We had some pretty cool items in the featured store as well. But what we're going to get tonight in 3, 2, 1, let's go! Ooh, okay. We got the return of some pretty damn cool items. Now, I will tell you guys now, we have had the return of a challenge pack. It is at the bottom of the item shop. I'm going to let you try, guys try and guess, but we'll get to it in a minute. Anyway, we have the Toon Meow Souls bundle return. I want to buy this bundle this time to go with my Tuna Fish skin. But yeah, you guys know about Toon Meow Souls. Really, really cool bundle. You've got music um, that goes with the emote that's inspired by Trippy Red. As I inspired, it is Trippy Red. Uh, that does the vocals you've also got the music that you can buy separately that says featuring trippy red really really cool again definitely come grabbing these if you are into like your cell shaded skins moving us to the return of the main skin in the featured store of the first part anyway we're the big chuggus small chuggus's need not apply part of the slurp squad set first introduced in chapter two season one pretty much i call this like my bane skin absolutely ripped Literally is a human um, slurp barrel. <laughs> He's absolutely massive. Anyway, really, really cool. Moving us on to his bat bling. Pardon me. Ugh, we've got the Juggus. Slurp juice not included. Again, same as the Chaos Agent. I love the fact that when you wear this bat bling, it looks like the tubes are coming off the tank uh, or off the keg and going straight into his head. Really, really cool. Moving us on to the harvesting tools. We have the double tap. Twice the slurp in one powerful swing. Quote me if I'm wrong, isn't Double Tap um, a perk on COD Zombies? I'm sure it is. It's been a while since I played COD Zombies. Anyway, really, really cool harvesting tool. Last but not least, we have a Slurp Wrap. Not animated or reactive, but I think it doesn't need to be. It suits the skin really well. Various different uh, looks now you guys can see on various different weapon models. Woohoo! Weapon models. Really, really cool. Moving us away from this, we have the second half of the featured store where we have another bundle return. Starting us off, however, we have the return of the Toy Soldiers. So, starting us off, we have the Toy Trooper, modelled for victory. Part of the Toy Soldiers set, first introduced in the OG Season 9. Three styles. So we've got the green variant, which is the default, as you guys know. We have the grey variant, which I call like the unpainted. And then we have the red plastic version. Moving us away from this, we have the Plastic Patroller. Again, toy with the competition. We have three styles. Again, we've got the green, what I call the grey, which is the unpainted, and then we've got the red plastic version. Again, really, really cool. Another version of Jonesy that got lost in the um, zero point, should we say. Anyway, moving us under the toy soldier wraps. Really, really cool. As you guys can see, we have the green toy. Moving us on, we have the grey toy. And then last but not least, we have the red plastic. Again, really, really cool wraps. I mean, 400 V-Bucks, it's worth it. I definitely recommend grabbing these, I would say. Anyway, moving us away from these, we have the return of the Loach bundle. Or the Loach bundle. I never know how to pronounce that. I'm just thinking, I think it's the... Because I'm trying to think of, like, you know how, like, where they say lock, it's not actually L-O-C-K. It's L-O... You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, really, really cool. We've got the legendary Battlehound skin and the female Highlander Warrior. She has the style option where you can have her helmet on or take it off. We have a glider, harvest and tool. Pretty OG at this point. When did it come out? OG season three. <laughs> Can't get any more, more OG than that. Anyway, moving us on to the daily store. We have the return of some pretty damn cool items in here. Start us off, we have the return of the Dreamer skin. Nia Nal sees the future through dreams and protects the world from nightmarish threats. Again, really, really cool skin. You guys know we'll have had this over the past week now. Taking us into uh, Chapter 3, Season 4, which is three days away. And I'm going to be covering it here live on the channel. Now, moving us on to the return of the Shogun skin. Suited for the ultimate showdown. Part of the Shogun set, first introduced in OG Season 6. Looking pretty damn cool. If I do say so myself, making me more excited for Assassin's Creed Japan. Anyway, moving us away from this, we have the Bat Bling, which is the legendary Bladed Wings. Wings with Edge. I mean, yo, <laughs> the more the wings with Edge, they are the Edge. 
Anyway, moving us away from this, we had the return of the Scorpion skin. Beware the Stinger. First introduced in OG Season 5, looking pretty damn cool. I like it, I like it. Moving us away from this, we have the emote takeover of the Daily Store. Starting us off with what everybody does when you game, Rage Quit. I'm out, that's it, I'm out. First introduced in OG Season X, get that out of here. I'm assuming this emote... It might just be me just pulling something out of the top of my head, but I'm feeling like that emote is for a very specific type of player. Now, I know we haven't had anything like FIFA related on here, but that I have seen in spades for... I can't even say I've seen it for COD, because people just swear it COD, but FIFA... Oh, Let's just see I've seen someone replace an 8K TV already. Anyway, start us off with the flipping sexy emote. Flip out. First introduced in OG Season 3. I thought I could have swore I bought this emote. Clearly not. Anyway, really, really cool emote. Remember, on the return of the Icon Series emote, the Frolic. Nothing gets you down. First introduced in Chapter 3, Season 1. Jim Taylor loves that emote. Or he did when it came out. He hasn't used it in a while. But um, I remember when, he, when that he came out, he used to use that emote. All the time. <laughs> it is a cool emote. Kind of like a Christmas emote with like the, you know, the um, carrots. That's it. I forgot the name of the vegetables. <laughs> anyway, moving us on to the return of the steamed. This could go hand in hand with the rage quit. So you could do the steamed and then do the rage quit. Let off some steam. First introducing, obviously, Chaps 2 Season 2, baby. Moving us on to the return of various different bundles, as you guys will have seen, we will have had these over the past couple of days, maybe even longer than that. As you guys can see, however, we have the return of the White Rabbit bundle. Now, again, self-explanatory, we have Matrix um, collaboration. So pretty much we've got three items, we've got two emotes and one animated wrap. So starting us off, we've got Neo's Bullet Time, which is a really cool one. It's not a matter of hope. But a matter of bullet time. Part of the Follow the White Rabbit set. First introduced in OG season. Chapter 3 season 1. I want to say OG. It's not OG. But we're going to leave it like that. Anyway. Love the fact that it gives you glasses as well. Or shades in this point. Like Morpheus shades. Anyway. Moving us on to the return of the Trinity to kick. Dodge this. Bow. Last but not least. We have the animated ones and zeros wrap. Again, really, really cool. This could kind of be used on a lot of tech skins that we already have in the game. Definitely recommend grabbing this, guys, because why would you not want to? This is literally like... This should be like Icon Series because, you know, it's like a movie kind of thing. Anyway, really, really cool. Moving us away from this, we have the Chica bundle still with us. We have the Rainbow Royale item still with us. Moving us on to the summer favourites, you guys know these already, we have these um, throughout, the pre throughout the previous, well, it is the previous season now, but you guys get what I'm talking about. Anyway, we had them previous this season. I did grab the music and the little whip emote, just because I want these, because I don't know when these are going to be coming back. Anyway, Golden Sands, Scuba Crystal, Broadwalk Ruby, Summer Drift, um, and various summer favourites. We have the Wu-Tang Clan bundles that are still with us. Really, really cool. Speaking of Drift, we have the Graveyard Drift Quest Pack. Now, I'm going to be doing an Is or Is or Not Worth It bundle video on this. So, without further ado, let's check this out. It is a quest pack, so you have the ability to earn up to 2,000 V-Bucks. So, pretty much will end up getting your money back in V-Bucks. So, yeah, let's check this out. Starting us off with the legendary skin himself, we have the Drift Walker. So... Fall into darkness and find your find your corrupted way to victory. Now, again, we've got three styles. So we've got the default. Moving us on to the stealthy drift walker. Woohoo! Getting those bat-like features. But last but not least, we have the regal drift walker. Cheese! Oh man, it's getting us ready for spooky mama month next month. Woohoo! I am down. Anyway, moving us away from this, we have the Bat Bling. We have the Broken Fractal Wings. Cracking with a dark vampiric power. <laughs> anyway, really, really cool. Look the fact that they kind of float as well. Moving us onto the Harvest and Tools, we have the Corrupted Rift Edges. A creature of the night must carry sharp fangs. Again, really, really cool. 
Last but not least, we have the last item, which is the Corrupted Tendrils. Fly forth from the last reality. Ah, see. Now, the Cube Queen was always talking about the last reality. So, I want to know exactly if this creature came from the last reality. It just seems like it. Especially with all the purple crackling energy. It just It just literally shouts the storm. Anyway... We do have additional quests, so like I said, this is $12.99 in the UK. Let me know in the comments down below how much it is in America and stuff like that. But yeah, pretty much um, $12.99, so how much is it for V-Bucks here? So $15.99, so you are, you are pretty much getting your money back, essentially. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like the video. Also, again, what is your favourite item from tonight's item shop? And do you think the drift, uh, the graveyard drift pack is worth it? So, anyway, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join Tim Let's Catch a Vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get notified as soon as I upload. But, more importantly, don't forget to stay b -b 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 via me and I'll catch you all vibing. Peace. Three days till the next season.